I knew this was going to be a little bit of an issue, so I did some name cards. You assign rooms, Ashley. Yeah. So I did it based on relationships. So actually, Robin and Giselle, you guys are the closest. All right, let's yeah. see. Let's see the room. Oh. <laughs> the hell? But hear me out. You don't have to share a bathroom with anyone else. The hell? So I actually <laughs> think it's a good thing. This room is hilarious. I know Giselle's not too happy, but it had me feeling a little nostalgic, so I, I think I can handle this. I might fall off. That's a bed <laughs> that my children sleep in. My children have a bed actually bigger than that. And you want me, a grown, sexy, hot woman, to sleep in a kitty bed. This is Bethany Beach. Are we really Googling hotels? Um, do you like you've been doing, boo? Okay. okay. No, 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 no. I'm just having no, fun. Go ahead, go ahead, do you. What's happening? I think they're a little upset about the accommodations. You don't bring seven grown women to a home and not tell them that they're sleeping in kitty beds. That is a twin bed. Giselle, how's your beach house doing? What? Silence? Oh, okay. If we think of it mentally like college beds, how about college beds? I stayed off campus, so. <laughs> Y'all for real right now? You can't do that. That's don't don't tell us what we can do. Okay, I know you can do. These bougie heifers are tripping. It's a twin bed. They're not gonna melt, they're not gonna die. Their weave's not gonna fall out. Get a grip. Maybe making the jokes about it was a little disrespectful. I'm, okay, if it was taken the wrong way, I will apologize. But I am loving my room. I, I'm just saying, I love Karen, my room. Ain't nobody talking to you, Karen. Karen, ain't nobody talking to Karen. If she had the room that I have, she would be losing her wig. So both of you are leaving? I'm looking for accommodations. I, I can't. It. It's not pulling up fast enough. Because I'm sure the comfort end down the street is much better. I mean, it so, wouldn't be the worst cool. thing in the world if she left. Everything is sold out, which is so crazy. Clearly, I have to stay. There's no hotels. I feel very bad now. I feel like a hostage. Ashley's the worst host known to man. I'm getting my stuff and I'm getting in my kitty bed and I'm going to sleep. Katie, at Ashley's birthday party, your whole demeanor and everything that you were doing was alarming. Renee said so when you met her, you thought she was on something. So were you okay that night? Yeah, I mean, I was, I think, had a little too much to drink, but. Okay. Giselle seems to have a very strong judgmental opinion about me and Andrew's PDA once again. I already apologized, and I think that she's just kind of bitchy sometimes. I'm asking you directly. You say you were clean. Maybe we weren't acting very clean, but. Yeah. Yeah. Good to know. I will have no part of this discussion. This is not the proper time nor the proper place. This is totally inappropriate because it can be misconstrued. So what are we doing now? Giselle needs to watch how she throws her words. Katie has no business calling me or Robin biracial, and she knows what we are. There's nothing wrong with Katie being biracial, obviously. But to be ignorant enough to call us that, is not necessary. The reason why I said that Hello. to you guys was because I was trying to point out what it's like. You're all offended by what's said to you that I say that's kind of like, you know, inflammatory, but you said something inflammatory to me. I was showing you your hypocrisy. That's what I, I was trying to point out to you. I didn't know. That's why no, I said, no, no, deep no, listen, no, 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 green no, eyes. Why don't you like look into your own I family you, history? No, because you bring up you. race all the time. It's stupid. It's offensive to me that you think that I'm not a black woman or that you, you think. You told me you were. I, of course I'm a black woman. But, but then at it, one point it, it, it also, you told me you no, were. No, I didn't say that. Just yes, you did. did. Well, Katie, like, yes. what are you today? Are you black or white? I don't know what I am today. Okay. You're not sure? I'm just crazy today. We're going to need for you to know. I'm not just African-American, I'm also Caucasian. I'm biracial. What the hell is wrong with that? There's and nothing, why do you have such a problem with, with it? There's nothing and wrong why with do you that. Have a that's not what you me. said. You're that changing is what it I said. That's okay. not what you said. Well, fine. You acted like it was a problem. Anyway. You, you acted like it was a problem. problem with it. You acted like it was a problem to be black. Oh, that's an issue. Please. That's what an is issue with me. You're, you're ignorant and no, stupid. No, I'm not. No, I'm Thank not. Thank you for having us to Jesus. lunch okay. for right. this come to Let Jesus me... moment where you make things even worse and you're so obsessed with Can yourself you and talking uh, okay. and taking okay, all okay. the air out of the room and okay. saying stupid, We're ridiculous outside. things. We're outside. Stupid things. We're outside. You're a stupid woman who says stupid things. So me and Ashley were chatting. And she was telling me that somebody had a problem with 
me talking about my husband and I having more than one home. I, I made mention. It was like, I, I didn't have a problem with it. It was oh, okay. just like the third thing that you said out your mouth. Hi, my name is Monique and I have four houses. No, that wasn't how it went. Since we've been here, we, you've told us about the $250 bottle of wine. You've told us about Barack well, Obama and your best friend. Willard. You asked the question and said, are you looking to become homeowner? I, I don't say home. I didn't ask you that. It was, yes, you did. I no, I did. Yes, you did. We can rewind. We're actually looking for a home in Potomac, Maryland. So. You don't have a home? I have four homes. OK. Since I've been coming around, you're the only person that's been, like, standoffish. Like I've only been around you one time. Yeah, right, exactly. And when you were questioning me, it was almost like, I didn't question like, you. I said, yes, where do did. you live? Yes, and you said, I have four homes. I did not I say that, because first of all, that's not me. I don't just come out and say, yeah, I own four homes. I just no. want to know about You asked you. me, are you looking to become a homeowner? And I answered your question. I didn't ask you that. Didn't that ask remains it. to be seen. And that's I didn't how she that. received I didn't play that. OK. At all. I know what I heard. Hey, I know what Time I heard. Out. Didn't ask you that. Giselle? Just Time out. out. Giselle's doing what she normally does, picking on a new girl. But guess what? She's met her match. Get her. Get her, Monique. Get her. No, no, no. What I said was, I don't care what she has, what well, she owns. Well, why did you say that when I said it? Because we were at the Willard. It doesn't matter if we're at the Willard at or the White House. If you have a question, just ask me. Somebody asked me what I thought about you, and I said, I don't think anything about her. Right, and I don't think anything about you either. Because I don't get anything but an act. Don't judge me without getting to know me, because you really don't know what you're asking for. You're going to mess around and get stomped under the dang on table. Yeah, I heard like, something. I'm like, I can't take the gossip. You're looking up. OK, good. Because I didn't want to have any of this conversation in front of Miss I Can't Stop Talking. Um, so. Monique. She was just talking about you. It's like, I was waiting till Miss I Can't Stop Talking next door. Let me go back in here for a second. We might need a pastor. Because, you know, I don't want rumors out there about Robin. No, it's not cool. Mm -hmm. And here comes the talker. Oh, I can't stop talking, right? That's Miss, good. I can't stop talking? Yeah. Yeah, I was just trying to talk to Ashley. This is my house. I can stand wherever I want to stand. I can talk as much as I want. Don't be disrespectful in my home. I'm not. You are. You're being a little aggressive. I'm not being a little that's aggressive. Not a good You're being very disrespectful. The only thing that keeps my mind sane is the fact that my pastor is on the way. I'm trying to keep my Jesus, because you one step away from getting your face punched in. Was I talking, Ashley, or was I standing there eating my food? Miss Curran, where are you going, girl? Okay. Come on in. Girl, I'm having a good day with Ray. Come on, girl. We all If you felt offended, I apologize. But I just was wanting to finish talking to Ashley. Whatever. I ain't got time for that. You're proving my very point. You're talking too much, and you don't know when to shut the hell up. I don't care, Monique. I'm trying to hear what little Miss Ashley has to say. Whatever your issue is with me, you can just put it out there. I Seriously. don't have an issue, Monique. You obviously do. Every time I come around, you're acting real cold shoulder. Monique, I can't. You walk in the house, and your best friend gives me a hug. You just stand there. I said hi. With your coat on, in 90 degrees. Hi. What more did you want me to do? What you're not going to do is be uncomfortable in your own home. Oh, no. That's why I'm standing here. I'll keep talking. This is I can't stop talking. You don't act like you want to be here anyway. So just leave. So she's, you know, throwing out her usual one-liner. Like, takes millions to owe millions. I really think she practiced in the mirror. <laughs> you know she did. Her answers wait, wait, wait. to the potential right. question. Right. It takes millions to <laughs> owe millions. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> Karen, really, at the end of the day, you owe millions, and you have no millions to pay these millions. So I decided I was going to make some t-shirts, but you look too nice to wear a t-shirt. And a t-shirt was going to say, um, free Uncle Ben. <laughs> oh, my God. And Giselle. tax reform. Hashtag tax reform. <laughs> <laughs> this t-shirt is just a way of making light of what we know. You owe some money to the IRS. Just pay the bill. All right, let's see how this is looking. You like it? I like it. All right. God bless. There you go. Okay, you, you feeling this? I like that. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm looking at this t-shirt Giselle is wearing, which says, God bless the Hugers. Now I know how messy Giselle is. So I'm prepared for anything. Robin and I are going to walk out, and I'm going to allow you to read everything that's on the back of my shirt. So Turn around, let me room. see it. What is it? Just slow down. Free Karen. What is that? Hey, Uncle Ben. Tax reform. Oh. 
Giselle, you tacky as hell. You didn't come as a friend at all. You're done. Giselle, you came here to clown, and you look like a clown with that pink blazer and that sorry behind t-shirt you got on. It looked like you bought it from a 99 cent store. All right, love you. And uh, Robin and I follows. Agree. Right, uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, guys. What's which one's the house? There it is. Yes. It's a light on the house. This is the plan. Robin, the pizza man, is going to deliver the pizza. Go, Robin, go. And we're gonna ring the doorbell. Hopefully, she'll answer. when I'm at home and my doorbell rings and I'm not expecting anyone, I don't answer the door. Or Karen's not home right now. I was able to see whew, part of the kitchen. Okay. And it looked like a purse was on the counter. Mission accomplished. She lives there. I think. 